It's an educational video by KNIPSS Sultanpur, UP. I'm Dr. Archana Yadav, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, KNIPSS. Dear student, I welcome you all in this new classes of zoology. Today, I'm going to teach you the new topic, Vocereria bancrofti. The common name of Vocereria bancrofti is Filarial Worm. Now, here I uh, introduce about classification. So, what is the classification of Vocereria? The phylum is Escalmentes class Nematoda, order Phyleroidea, and family Phyleridae. Genus, you already know, Vocereria, and species is Bancrofti. And Vocereria Bancrofti is a thread like parasites or endoparasites, and it is a nematode. You know, already in a class, it is a nematode or the, it's a round worm. Uh, it causes a disease which are known as elephantiasis or filariasis. It's, uh, uh, it presents in a lymphatic vessels or in lymphatic nerves. Now it's about distribution. It is found in all tropical and subtropical countries of in all over world, and basically uh, they are uh, prevalent in India, Korea, Japan, Brazil, and other Pacific Islands. It is uh, these parasites are uh, not reported or absent in Europe, North America, and Africa. What's about habit and habitat? virtual area or uh, you already know you uh, uh, it is endoparasitic of human beings uh, in human beings it is located in lymphatic vessels lymphatic nodes uh, and it is a actually it is a digenetic parasite it's require two hosts for completion of its life cycle one is the primary and uh, uh, second is the uh, intermediate host so primary host is the what Primary host is the human and secondary host is uh, a uh, mosquito, which is Culex. And some other is it is a unisexual. It exhibits sexual dimorphism. And it's adult worm, which are present in a human, in a lymphatic glands or lymphatic vessels in a coiled form. And it also obstructs the passages of lymph now other nature of this it is a viviparous oviviviparous and it's release uh, immature worm or larvae which are known as microphyllary and uh, they are uh, these microphyllaries which are present in a blood of human beings now what's about its discovery voucheria bancrofti has been named after its discoverer, a uh, Brazilian physician, vocherator, and British parasitologist Bancroft. Both scientists are considered as a pioneer in a study of filarial infection. Now, other contribution of different scientists, one name is Demarque, who discovered the larval form of this worm in the hydrocell fluid of man. Vocherator uh, in 1866, uh, six, they found larvae in a chylus urine. Chyle actually it is the uh, mixing of lymph and emulsified fat content. And now uh, Lewis, Lewis found it in human blood. Now, uh, next uh, Bancroft, Bancroft uh, found its adult female and Bornea which found its adult female. Monsoon discover its uh, vector, which is Culex mosquito. These are responsible for causing the disease, filarial disease. Now, here we discuss about its structure. The adult worm obtain their nourishment from the lymph of the lymphatic system. The body of adult female, which is uh, elongated and narrow, and filiform. These worms are creamy white in color, anterior and terminal bluntly and uh, 
uh, where the posterior end is uh, not shown in this picture but its posterior end is bluntly little pointed sorry little po uh, pointed anterior is a uh, blunted but uh, uh, the posterior end is little pointed the male and female both forms are found in rounded uh, way uh, these uh, present in a uh, each lymphatic vessels the mouth have no any oral uh, lips and which are present on the anterior sides and the alimentary canal have uh, several parts like mouth pharynx esophagus uh, pharynx esophagus and anus the anterior part of the pharynx is muscular anterior part of pharynx is muscular and the posterior part of the pharynx is glandular now its life span uh, uh, discuss the life span of this adult worm is so long approx 5 to 10 years or even more it show you already know it is a unisexual worm and it exhibits sexual dimorphism so male and female both are separated the male the female worms are slightly longer comparison to the male worm and it is thicker comparison to the male the female worm measure approx 65 to 100 mm and its length 0.25 mm the posterior of female and is straight you uh, uh, know this about uh, the posterior end of the female is straight and its pair no uh, its pair anus the female genital pore is known as vulva which is present at the ventral side of the body now the male worm is comparatively shorter or smaller and thinner than the female male filarial worm its measure 40 mm in length and 0.1 mm in diameter the posterior end of the worm is curved and its bear a unequal pineal ct or copulatory spicules which are present in the cloacal region here we discuss about the microfilaria it is the embryo of what it is the embryo of voucher area bencroftite it is the first stage of larva and it is very active it is present in a blood stream and its color is no its have no color it is the colorless and whole body is transparent anterior in the blunt and posterior end is the taper or pointed so here is a various uh, morphological features the embryo measure 290 mm in length and 6 cm 6 to 7 um, mm in breadth the oral stylet which are present in the anterior which form a uh, mouth in a future now microfilarial its bear also other uh, part like hyaline sheets nerve rings and uh, nephridio pore and uh, somatic cells and subcuticular cells and here is four other uh, larger germinal cells or uh, and uh, anus so the microfilarial after being released into the lymph vessel they enter into the blood and or in a uh, blood circulation now microfilarial stop further development in human beings so it cannot develop Uh, other uh, if we not uh, find in other host like uh, mosquito so it uh, if they are not struck by the mosquito they become die uh, the life span of microfilaria it's approx 70 days my uh, the microfilarial of uh, uh, in, a, in a, uh, oriental countries like india and china it shows a nocturnal periodicity it means Uh, they appear only uh, at a time of 10 to 4 actually the night time at this time they come out on the peripheral 
peripheral region of the body and disappear during the uh, during the rest of time so uh, in the day time they uh, uh, resting uh, go in the retire inside the deeper blood vessels the nocturnal periodicity of microfilaria is said to be it's uh, related actually uh, with its uh, vector which show nocturnal feeding habits so uh, they are transmitted by these uh, uh, microfilaria is uh, transmit from one host to next host by the uh, biting of this mosquito culex then these microfilaria transmit from one host to next host next host is uh, already is uh, mosquito so it's transfer after the biting of this mosquito which is culex fatigans or pipens the third stage of this larva which is infective stage so these uh, infective stage the third stage these are found in only in mosquito in this slide we have discussed the life cycle of vocheria bancrofti vocheria bancrofti is a digenetic and it's require two host one is the man and sec uh, second is the female mosquito that is culex so in this picture the male and female both are found in a lymphatic vessels or lymphatic nodes of human beings these are shown in this picture and next in this picture they have shown that any uh, mosquito uh, when it suck the blood they suck along with its microfilarii from the cutaneous capillary of man and when it's come into the body of uh, mosquito then it's become to metamorphosized or its development start now first stage second stage third stage and after the uh, third stage is further these mosquito is uh, biting to any person this third stage is come out to the proboscis into the body of man now here it's become further after development converted into the adult worm so in detail i describe in a next slide now in this slide the infection in a human is actually acquired by the biting of infected mosquito and after that the uh, the third stage of larva which are deposited in the skin and these larva uh, then penetrate into the skin and reaches into the lymphatic uh, channels and uh, they are become to settle down uh in the several part like uh, scrotal region or abdominal portion and they become morphosized and finally form a adult or sexually mature worm the male uh, worm fertilize the female and the uh, for, uh, mating with the female and after then af uh, after fertilization the gravid female is full form embryo and its discharge embryo which is usually appear in a peripheral blood now female worm is viviparous or ovoviviparous because it delivers numerous larvae which are known as microfilarii the microfilarii actually it is a immature stage so microfilarii find their way into the blood stream where they live for us some uh, time approx 70 days if not any mosquito come in the contact of a human they become die due to the uh, not find the way into the into the mosquito due to their nocturnal periodicity uh, the mosquito or secondary host it's take a blood meal from a human body and the microfilarii 
which are reaching into the body of to the secondary host and they undergo further development and become infective to man next now in a mosquito when entry of mosquito uh, the microfilari they find their way into the stomach of my mosquito microfilari ingested by mosquito which lost lost their sheet uh, within 2 to 6 hour after they penetrate to to the gut wall and migrate to the, the migrate to the thoracic muscle where they become rest and finally become to starting to growing or development in the next uh, two days microfilari become filaria become thick and short uh, sources shape with a short spiky tail and its size approx 124 to 200 mm in length and its breadth approx 10 to 70 mm it is the first stage larva after third uh, Three to seven days, or during to three to seven days of time, the larva go grow rapidly and mold twice and measure its upper approx two to twenty five to three three zero or three hundred thirty mm in length and its breadth approx fifteen to thirty mm and it is the second stage of larva. Metamorphosis process which are completed in ten to eleven days. and many portions of the bodies which are formed like digestive system body cavity genital organ which are fully developed and in the, the final stage is uh, l3 or you, uh, it means infective third stage of larva these third stage of larva are infective form and they enter the proboscis portion of the mosquito where the mosquito bite to any human for the taking a blood meal the l3 or infected third stage of larva which are released from the tip of proboscis of mosquito to the human so after then the human become infected and these l3 larval stages when it's uh, come into the human they become finally mature or converted into the adult worm the development of these larva in mosquito which takes timing approx 10 to 20 days now what is the mode of transmission you know what is the mode of transmission it is transmitted by due to the biting of infected culex mosquito during the process of taking blood meal and its incubation period it's approx 1 to 2 years now what's about its pathogenesis filaria worm you know it's occur in a lymphatic vessels of man and it's obstruct the flow of lymph so that the affected organs become swelled or enlarged or producing tumor like bodies in a different portion of the body of a uh, different portion of the body of the human like feet hand scrotum and though uh, and they show the Uh, ugly looks like elephantiasis was or we called it elephantiasis the light infections of causes filarial worm mental depression headache etc the various other pathogenetical effects are shown like lymphangitis and lymphadenitis lymph Uh, gitis it is actually a inflammation of lymph vessels and the inflammation of lymph gland 
is known as lymphadenitis. Due to the heavy infection and accumulation of dead worm, they block the lymph vessels or gland and it causes swelling in the extreme region of the body like lymph, scrotum of the male, uh, male person and the female gland, uh, mammary glands of the female person. And these conditions create lymphedema. It's called lymphedema. In severe cases, the sweat glands is also affected and skin to become dry and rough. Some other manifestations of this disease are shown here like lymphangiovarix. It means dilation of lymph vessels in scrotal and abdominal region. Lymphorage, it means rupture and flow out or leak out, or leak out of lymph from lymph vessels. Hydrocell, it means accumulations of fluid due to the obstruction of lymphatic cords. Oculate filariasis, it means hypersensitivity reactions due to the filarial antigen. Now, diagnosis. The presence of microfilaria and stained blood smears, which are you know, diagnosed or shown by biopsy of lymph node. Now, treatment of disease. Actually, no proper medicines are uh, available for eradication of this filarial worm. So, uh, the following drugs which are used for the treatment like hetrazine, hetrazone compounds and compounds of antimony and arsenic which are used for check the actually embryo stage, microfilarial stage, MSB. MSV is effective on infective larva and immature adult worm. How can it prevent or how can it control? Now several methods which are followed. Protection against adult mosquito. Adult mosquito can be controlled by spraying the insecticides like DDT, BHC in home or in open places, fumigation of in uh, affected places uh, for through this process we kill the mosquito and using mosquito nest it is the safest method for avoiding mosquito biting. Destructions of mosquito larva, spraying of uh, kerosene, uh, the pyrethrium oils in a sewage, ditches, uh, small open aquatic bodies is recommended for to kill the mosquito larvae. Insecticides are also used for in a breeding place to kill this larvae. Biological control using larvae volus fuchsias like Gambusia, Puntias, it's much safer. So, for public awareness, government, uh, Indian government declared that 11 November every year is uh, always celebrated as a National Filarial Day. Thank you.